a very good morning to all of you welcome to anb exam forum student we are now starting a new chapter on mathematics and in today's session we are going to cover measure of dispersion range okay so one of the measure of dispersion is range and in today's session uh, we are going to cover 10 previous year question related to this particular topic okay but before proceeding uh, we have made a lot of video on basic of computer and application it is in our playlist destination rrb and if you have not watched this video you can watch this video and get benefited from that so coming to the important sub topic of this topic range the first thing you should know about the concept okay what exactly is a range of data set it is a very simple concept okay and after that uh, you should know what exactly is a formula for this video uh, you should know that if your data is there say x1 x2 x3 x4 okay out of that say x4 is the maximum value in this data set and x1 is the minimum value in that data set okay so how much data is spread with the help of range you can easily get to know okay and range the simple formula a very easy formula it is maximum minus minimum okay so if you have the difference between the maximum value in the data set and the minimum value of data set you can tell how much your data is spread how much data is dispersed in the given data set okay so this formula will be used throughout uh, this session okay a very simple one but uh, sometime in the question sense your data points will be more so you need to be very careful uh, while finding the maximum and minimum out of those data set okay so coming to the first question see the question is very uh, big one data is very uh, 20 points are there okay so but the formula as you know it is very simple as i told you it is max minus min okay maximum minus the minimum value in the data set so you need to find out the maximum out of these data points okay so let's find the maximum and minimum first we will find the maximum so out of this right now it is 58 is a maximum let's see any there it is greater than 58 yes 59 is there so 59 is maximum right now so again here 59 is there so we can say 59 is the maximum value in this data set what about the minimum so let's see 55 53 is a minimum 50 is a minimum so as of now 50 is minimum so 50 is nowhere in the data set so 50 is a minimum value okay so the difference of 59 and 50 is as you know it is 9 and uh, the range of given data set is 9 a very simple one uh, it can hardly take 10 second in it okay and it was asked in ntpc exam in year 2021 okay so the answer for this question is option c coming to the next question it is very similar to the question number 1 but they have asked mode and median as well okay mode and median as well okay so let's see the range first so as i told you range is what max minus min so out of this what is the maximum value so maximum value is 21 okay so this is my maximum so maximum is 21 and minimum is what 12 12 Ah uh, yeah, twelve is the minimum. So this is the minimum value. So twenty one minus twelve is what? Twenty one minus twelve is again nine, and uh, the first one should be nine. So this we can consider. It is six five eight. Okay, so straight away without calculating mode and median, you can easily have option A as your answer. Okay, so option A 
for this question is the right answer coming to the next question what will be the range of first seven prime numbers okay this is a important question so this type of question they can ask where you need to build the data set by your own okay so you should know what are prime number i will not discuss what prime numbers are but let's see what should be the range of this particular data set okay so let's uh, begin the data set so as you know prime number starts with 2 3 5 is a prime number 7 is a prime number 11 is a prime number 13 is a prime number so how many 3 3 6 and last one 13 after 13 we have 17 okay so maximum and minimum we need not to find this is a maximum prime number this is a minimum prime number and range as we know it is difference between maximum and minimum value and maximum is 17 and minimum is 2 so you have your answer as a 15 so option a those who have given well and good option a is the right answer let's see the next question uh, it is again very simple one uh, so we have covered two three question after that uh, we will change the type of question don't worry so find the range of data uh, so again range means maximum minus minimum so maximum value out of this if you find it, all are 9 most of them are 9 and 9 is a maximum value and the minimum is uh, 3 so less than 3 we are not able to find okay so 3 is the minimum value so 9 minus 3 is 6 a very simple one a uh, 6 standard student can also answer this question okay so option c is the right answer yes uh, this is a new type of question let's see who can give the answer so your function is there x square okay don't uh, puzzle that this is a new thing this is nothing okay so ultimately your value data set you can generate with the x square okay so if you want to generate the data set it will be square of your value okay so if if you start with one so the first data point we will have one after that 2 it will be squared after that again all the values are square okay 25 and so on so what will be the range now you you, you can ask me what is the maximum value i am not able to get you will uh, we we don't want that value right because the question says what will be the range in term of are they whole numbers whole numbers not guaranteed why because zero is not there okay so uh, you can eliminate this option non-negative number non-negative numbers they have specified yes all are non-negative but zero is also non-negative okay again you can eliminate this option since there is no negative since it is a square so negative real numbers will not be there whereas positive real number seems to be the valid one because all the numbers are real number obviously it is a set of uh, real number these are natural number basically but these are positive numbers these are not integers okay so it is a set of positive real number so positive real number is the right answer for this question okay let's see the next question a set of four numbers, the mean of these three numbers is 19 and the mean of three largest number is 23. What will be the range? Okay. So whenever you find such question, find the sum. Okay. So the smallest three number uh, mean is 19. So if you get the sum of these three numbers, it will be 19 into 3 and 19 into 3 is 57. Similarly, the mean of the largest uh, three number is 23 so again their sum will be uh, 23 into 3 that is 69 and since uh, mean of the minimum mean say these are the minimum so mean of the minimum and mean of the largest four range will be obviously the difference of these two okay 
a difference of 2 why because they have already taken the care of smallest and largest number okay so we need not to find the uh, largest and smaller number okay so if you subtract it you will get 12 okay so option b those who have given well and good option b is the right answer coming to the next question the mean of three number is 20 the range of this data set is 12 so now they have given the range of this data set that is 12 and the difference between the two smallest number is 3 find the largest number student so whenever you find such type of question you begin with like this so let's say you have three number x is less than y less than z so x is the smallest one z is the largest one and the mean of these three number is 20 okay so the mean as you know it is x plus y plus z equal divided by 3 equal to 20 so their sum will be x plus y plus z is equal to 60 okay this is our first equation after that the range of this data set is 12 range as i told you it is maximum minus minimum so z minus x will be your range so z minus x what they have given it is 12 and the difference between uh, the two smallest number is 3 so these are the two smallest number and the difference between them don't take x minus y because y is greater so y minus x is what your 3 so you have three equations and three variables so you can easily solve these three equations let's solve equation one by one so what you can do uh, you can have all in term of x okay so uh, so what we have all x on the right side okay so you have from this equation you will have z is equal to 12 plus x and here you can have y is equal to 3 plus x this x and y you can put in this equation let's put this equation so x remains the same and y value of y is 3 plus x and value of z is 12 plus x and the sum of this is 60 from this equation okay so we have only substitution uh, uh, done okay so after substituting this value uh, you have x plus x plus x that is 3x and 12 plus 3 15 so 15 goes there so 60 minus 15 is what 45 and x is 45 divided by 3 it is how much 15 okay so the value of x is 15 so value of x is 15 we need to find the largest okay so the largest value is 20 12 plus 15 is what 27 okay so the largest value of this uh, set is 27 and if they ask the minimum then 15 plus 3 18 will be the minimum value okay and if you subtract your range will be 12 okay so the answer for this question will be 27 as we have find out in this uh, equation okay so option c is the right answer for this question let's see one more question from this type so the mean of three number is 53 okay so straight away we know x is less than y less than z so we have three data points and the mean is 53 so the sum of this number will be 53 into 3 and as you know 53 into 3 is 159 this is first equation and the range of data set is 28 it will be z minus x not x minus z because z is the largest value so z minus x is 28 and the third equation the difference between two smallest number is 3 so the difference between these two number will be not x minus y it will be y minus x because y is greater so y minus x is 8 so then from these two equations you find z z is 28 plus x whereas y is 8 plus x substitute these two value in this particular equation so x is what x remain x y is what 8 plus x z is what 28 plus x is equal to 159 okay so 
uh, after that you have 3x plus 28 plus 8, 8, 8, 16, 36 equal to 159. Go there. Okay. So you will have x if you uh, solve this okay if you are able to find this you will have x is equal to x is equal to what let's let's find out uh, i will find out so 159 minus 36 you have 3 and here you have 2 123 so x will be 123 by 3 so x will be 41 so the value of x is 41 and we need to find the greatest of three numbers. So z is the greatest value. So 28 plus 41, the answer is 69. Okay. So 69, those who have given, they are correct. So the option D is the right answer for this question. Okay. Coming to the next question. The four integers are there arranged in ascending order. Uh, the range is 20 and the difference between C and A is equal to the difference between D and B. The arithmetic mean is 25. The following num value have A. Okay. Student, this question I am giving you as a homework and it is very important question and this is a homework. You tell the answer in your comment box and how you solve that. Okay. So, thank you for watching. And we have seen 10 questions related to a very simple topic, mean, uh, dispersion, okay, the range in the measure of dispersion. In the next video, we are going to cover a very important topic that is standard deviation and variance. You will find one question from that definitely, okay. So, thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed to our channel, you can subscribe it. It is uh, in the button list, okay. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.